It gets results less than 12 hours after we told you an orange van was stolen from the YWCA. A viewer spotted it and called police. Action 7 News reporter Laura Terrain tells us where it was and why it'll need some work. The bright orange van is back. I think we're all feeling pretty relieved. Last week, the YWCA's only vehicle was stolen in the middle of the night. CEO Amy Whitfield told us they desperately needed the 16 seater to drive girls to after school programs or bring dresses to women trying to get a job. We would love to have our van back. It's something that's really crucial in delivering services to low income women and children. So we aired a story with a picture and description of the 1992 Ford. It's big orange and hard to miss, but somehow a thief got away with the YWCA's only van. Less than 12 hours later, police got a call. A viewer had spotted the abandoned van near Monroe and Roma in northeast Albuquerque. It was here in this gated parking lot where neighbors said they'd seen the van, but didn't think much of it until they saw our report. There was some damage, like a dead battery, broken interior panels, and evidence of a break-in. But in a few weeks, employees at the YWCA hope to have their big orange van back up running and helping the community. Laura Terrain, KOAT Action 7 News. The organization CEO says no one's been caught in connection to the stolen van.